Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, I initially wanted to make my next video about TV guided bombs, but uh, yeah, it's a bit more difficult to explain. So I'm going to talk about a different weapon system that is also very interesting and also kind of relevant um, to the games that a lot of people are playing, such as War Thunder and DCS. This weapon system is the APKWS Guided Rocket. Um, generally speaking, it is a 70mm Hydra rocket that got a laser guidance kit added to it. This laser guidance kit is kind of interesting um, in the way it works because it's not a typical laser seeker like you saw on the GBU um, 10, 12, 16. Uh, oh, sorry, Paveway series, uh, just like I explained in my laser guided bomb video. No, this one uses a different system. Um, I want to be, however, very clear with this video is that I am not 100% sure how it works. I mean, I pretty much looked at a bunch of pictures of the APKWS guidance kit, and um, so I'm pretty much guessing how it works. Um, so here in gray, this is the guidance kit. Uh, on the internals, it's like all the servos to uh, f deflect the wings, the computer and all the stuff. We are going to look at the sensor or the, how the sensors work. Because on the APKWS system, you have a sensor or a seeker at, ev at the tip of every of the four wings. Um, I'm gonna make explain it just with two wings, um, so sensor 1 and sensor 2, and then you can just turn it by 90 degrees and then you have the full guidance in all four directions. Um, considering that this system only has a diameter of, of about 70 millimeters, I mean it's a Hydra 70 rocket, it's 2 point something inches, um, you need to miniaturize things very sim very substantially, and you obviously also need to make um, the system fairly simple. So the only way I can see how this guidance system works is um, by having one pixel laser diodes, or uh, not, not laser diodes, laser sensors in each of the wingtips. You can see this in pictures of the APKWS system. And then using a very precise clock to then measure where the signal comes from. Now, how is that done? Uh, I already prepared a drawing a bit. I, yes, I learned from my past videos and the feedback that you guys have given me. Um, here I made a simplified drawing. Let's say the laser comes from an angle. Um, so that the laser beam hits sensor 1 first, and after a certain amount of time, it, it also hits sensor 2. This time difference is then used to calculate this angle, because we know the speed of light, we know the timing, and st yeah. So what this means, and obviously now you, you're probably asking yourself, but hey, wait, isn't a laser just a continuous beam, so when the rocket activates its seeker, it will just light up both of the sensors at the same time? Um, no, because there's one thing that you need to remember. Laser-guided weapons use codes, and the laser that is designating a target for the weapon is pulsing. And you can use this pulsing, or, or this pulsing is the key for how the system works. So let's say uh, the rocket activates and we have a pulse, I don't know, a long pulse, a short pulse, a long pulse, I don't know how, how the exact pulsing of laser guided weapons works. I'm just gonna make a Guess. So, this is what sensor 1 sees. Now, sensor 2 pretty much sees the same thing, but 
with a time delay. So instead of at the same time, it comes slightly delayed, the signal. And what the onboard computer then does is to simply compare. Okay, so sensor 1 sees the signal at this point in time. Sensor 2 sees the signal at this point in time. Yeah, and therefore, this equals this distance, and then with like some basic Pythagorean math, you can then figure out at what angle the laser is coming from. So you can figure out this angle, for example. Let's uh, say it's angle alpha. And then obviously the board computer then goes ahead and tells the fins at the opposite angle, hey, can you deflect um, to turn up? Uh, then the rocket turns up and it keeps on guiding into the target. It's a very 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 simple system i mean it's really just four laser diodes and a um, comparing and timing algorithm that then checks for the laser codes and yeah you can use this then to hit targets with very cheap guided weapons um the last time i checked a typical apkws rocket um, was between thirty and fifty thousand US dollars for each um, for each rocket. Compare that to a Hellfire, which was usually used before APKWS to take out light targets. Yeah, the Hellfire is about five hundred thousand dollars, so you're saving up quite a bit of um, resources and money, um, so that you don't need to use those really expensive weapon systems to take out, for example, cars, or to take out smaller groups of enemies and stuff like that. Yeah, this was a very quick and dirty explanation of <coughs> uh, how the APK um, APKWS weapon system works. In my opinion, obviously, um, it is possible that it works in a different way, but I don't see how it could work in a different way. This is really just my best educated guess for this system. And yeah, uh, obviously, I'm currently still working on researching how exactly TV guided weapons work. If I make more progress in that, or if you have information on how the image tracking works, then please drop it down into, into the comments. Um, and yeah, I guess we we'll see us in the next video. Have a great day. Um, stay healthy. I'm currently not. <laughs> but that's another problem. And yeah, have a good, good time, everyone. Bye-bye.